Welcome to the Forefront Radio. We're going to talk about Halloween and the uh, horror stories that impact black communities, Hispanic communities, Native Indigenous communities. Let's get into this discussion, y'all. We're going to start off with Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. If you haven't followed the Forefront Radio, please follow us on uh, iHeartRadio, on Pandora, and other platforms. We're going to start off on Zechariah 11, verse 5. It says, Whose possessors, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. So, this is going into America. This is going into America. It says, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. So when you examine events like Trayvon Martin, Trayvon Martin was a young black brother minding his own damn business. Here you got a fake security guard walking around by the name of George Zimmerman. This fake security guard allegedly says that he was doing a a community watch type of BS and he ends up unalive on a 17 year old kid. When he went to court, uh, shalom to you, uh, Zawa, I hope you're doing well. When he went to court and everybody asked about the situation and the circumstance, after all the court proceedings were over, they pronounced this man not guilty. Now, you have hundreds of millions of people that lived in America prior to Christopher Columbus. You had hundreds of millions of people that lived in the Caribbean islands, most densely populated area in the West at that time, Hispaniola, Mexico, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Jamaica, uh, Turks and Caicos, Bahamas, South America, Brazil, Guatemala, Honduras. All of these people were populated already prior to Christopher Columbus coming into the land. Then this Eurocentric delusionalist, in the name of his deity, the Roman Catholic Church, because it ain't the God of this Bible, they were unaliving millions of people. Did America say, no, this man was one of the most wicked, abominable pieces, pieces of sugar, honey, iced tea on the planet? No. America said, let's make a holiday after him. Shalom to you, uh, Nakuya. I hope you're doing well. America said, let's make a holiday after him. So now. A recent story came across my attention about a young brother who went to get his car worked on. I posted it on my story. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, shalom to you, uh, be free. I posted it on my story uh, recently. So if you haven't seen it, make sure you see it. Make sure you watch it. Young father taking care of his kids decides to take his car to get worked on. This is in Mississippi. Good old boy, Mississippi. And this man drops his car off to get worked on. He throws a piece of paper towel, piece of paper towel on the floor. He pays the, he pays these people in full for the car. He gets service because of a piece of paper on the floor. They call the cops on this black man. What's illegal about a piece of paper on the floor? I have no idea. But there's usually when you drive on the road, there's usually pieces of paper and film and garbage all on the side of the roads in America. So I don't I don't get it. They call the police on him. He's at the store, local convenience store, gas station. Out of nowhere, the police proceed to beat the living daylights out of this guy. So Christ like. Such such a, such a Christ-like action from the police officers. God bless America. So righteous. Uh, it's not about being black or white. It's just it just comes down to having negative blood. Nah, you don't understand the Bible. Be free. The Bible says there are vessels of wickedness on the earth, and there's vessels of unrighteousness on the earth. God has a chosen people on the earth. The same people that you call a color in a crayon box, that's God's chosen people. These same people that you call Negro, that's God's chosen people. These same descendants of slaves, that's God's chosen people. Oh, there's a big difference. There's a big difference. I I, I know you're probably new to the Forefront Radio and you're not familiar with my content. This is a biblical-based platform. Everything I say, I back up with scripture. 
So let me finish the story. I teach blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the lost tribes of Israel. That's what I teach. Okay. O positive is the transgression. I'm O positive. So what you talking about? <laughs> he says O positive is the transgression. I'm O positive. I don't understand what you're talking about. Be free. Anyways, let me continue. So this man that's getting his car worked on, the police proceeds to prosecute him and purse. I don't want to say prosecute. That's a unlawful term right now. Persecute him for no apparent reason. Only the cops were called over a paper towel. Now, would this happen to a Chinese person? No. Would this happen to a Muslim person, an Arabic person? No. What stories have you seen online where a person of Alaskan descent gets beat gets beat up by the police because of a paper towel? I haven't seen it on the news, have you? I haven't. When have you, when was the last time you've seen a Chinese person get pummeled in a, in the United States of America over a let's say a paper cup? But for some strange reason, a lot of y'all in America are very, very, very comfortable seeing black people, Hispanic people, native indigenous populations get disrespected on a weekly basis. None of y'all ain't doing shit about it. You understand? So this black man gets pummeled over a paper towel in the United States of America. But everybody's looking forward to Halloween. Everybody's looking forward to, to, you know, go get some candy and, you know, run around and dress up in strange apparel. You know, they call themselves a Christian nation, but want to dress up their kids like demons and goblins and vampires drinking blood. You can't make this stuff up. What's up, Voyo? I'm on the phone right now. You understand? Somebody says, stop perpetuating, perpetuating negativity. You know what's sad about uh, the reality of the matter, um, Night Shift? When we talk about things impacting society, you call it negative. You call it negative. This is a news station. We talk about what happens and we give it to you raw. I can't sugarcoat it for you. I can't make it feel better for you. I can't I can't make you see it differently. This is the reality of the situation. So the question is, oh, uh, what are you what are my solutions? That's a great question. That's a great question. I'm going to go to the Bible and I'm going to show you my solution. Okay, because if y'all really wanted to get rid of racism, y'all would have passed the law in America to say if anybody is found Dealing inappropriate with a United States citizen, whether they're police, whether they're a judge, whether they're a politician, and it's found out that they're unalived and it's racially motivated, that person and their whole family is going to get the same treatment that they gave that individual. That's called justice. Eye for eye, tooth for tooth, ear for ear, foot for foot. That's called judgment. That's called justice. But people don't believe in the Bible. They, they believe in their own mamsy, pamsy, ill-gotten freedoms that they think they have. Wait, wait till you figure out that the same treatment that these black folks been receiving for centuries, that the government starts to not give a damn about nobody and treats everybody the same way. Then you're going to be like, oh, oh, forefront, forefront trying to warn us that we're living in a totalitarian system. But 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 we just said that he was being negative. Y'all going to see it for yourself when shit hit the fan and you have no access to food, water, clothing, and the government shuts down for more than a month. Then you're going to be like, oh, wow. He did. He did try to warn me. He did try to say that this place is 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 crazy and bug the hell out. Watch this. I'm going to show you America in the Bible. Zechariah chapter 11, verse five, it says, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Who was the who was the master and who was the captive in America? Who was the possessor and who was the possessed in America? Hello. And hold themselves not guilty, meaning what? Hundreds of strange fruit placed on trees. Hundreds of men, women and children unalived. 
And who said, we didn't do it. We're not responsible. Then it says, and they that sell them and they that sell them say, who was selling black and brown people on auction blocks? Who was selling black and brown people on auction blocks? Hmm? Who was selling black and brown people on auction block? I'm trying to figure that out. You understand? Okay. In, in, a, in the United States, in the United States, I figure that out. You understand? Okay. In, in, a, in the United States, in the United States, I figure that out. You understand? Okay. In, in, a, in the United States, in the United States, who was selling black and brown people? When I say black, I mean Hispanic, I mean Native American, I mean African American, I mean all of these people from the Caribbean islands as well. Are good. Who did that? Who did that? Uh, night shift in the United States of America. Are we talking about the Ashanti and the Oyo and the Dahomey Kingdom right now? Or are we night shift? In the United States of America. Are we talking about the Ashanti and the Oyo and the Dahomey Kingdom right now? Re reiterate my question. In the United States of America. Or are we talking about the United States of America? So let me reiter re reiterate my question. In the United States of America. Going around doing this. Hmm. Who's going around doing this in the United States of America? Who's doing who who was the possessor and who was the possessed? That's my question for you, uh, Night Shift. Who was the possessor and who was the possessed? Y'all tap the screen, get the likes up, share the room with at least 10 people, y'all. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Who's possessed us? Except share the room with at least 10 people, y'all. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Who's possessed us? Slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell shepherds pity them not. For I will no more pity the inhabitants of the land, saith the Lord. But lo, I will deliver the man, every one, into his neighbor's hand and into his hand of his king. And they, the man, every one, into his neighbor's hand and into his hand of his king and they shall smite the land and out of their hand i will not deliver them i will not deliver them and i will feed the f flock of the slaughter even you O poor of the slot flock and i took unto me two staves the one i called beauty and the other i called bands and i fed the flock and i fed the flock and i fed the flock this is christ right here Christ is the one that's going to set us free from the hands of those that oppress us. The Messiah is the one that's going to set us free from, from the wicked of the earth. The Messiah is the one that's going to set us free from the wicked that's controlling this planet. Then said I, I will not feed you, meaning the wicked people that's on this earth that think that they're going to be doing all manner of evil and God going to bless them. No, that that dieth, let it die. And that that is to be cut off, let it be cut off. And let the rest eat everyone the flesh of another. That's how bad it's going to get in America. That's how bad it's going to get in Babylon. People are going to be devouring each other. That's how bad it's going to get in America. That's how bad it's going to get in Babylon. People are going to be devouring each other. That's how bad it's that I might break my covenant, which I made with all the people. And it was broken in that day. And so the flock of, and so the poor of the flock that waited upon me knew that it was the word, the word of the Lord and knew that it was the word of the Lord. You see that we knew that it was Christ responsible for, for the affairs that happened on this planet. We understand there's a God. Besides these people that's walking around talking about, I'm an atheist. We understand that there's a God out here. We know that the things in this Bible is true. Verse 12. And I said unto them, if you think good, give me my price 
and if not forbear, so they weighed for my price 30 pieces of silver, 30 pieces of silver. What man was sold for 30 pieces of silver like a slave? Was not Yahweh Shai sold for 30 pieces of silver like a slave? What group was not Hispanic people sold for pieces of silver? Was not native indigenous people sold for pieces of silver? Was not black people sold for pieces of silver? So the same thing happened to the son of God, happened to his children, happened to his family, happened to his brethren, happened to his people. So Joker's going around and saying, oh, it ain't about a black or a TYT thing. It's about the blood and O negative and O positive. Nah, we're going to spit facts out here. We're going to spit biblical based facts and we're going to make the parallels. Christ was sold as a slave. Black folks were sold like a slave. Christ was sold like a slave. Hispanics were sold like a slave. Christ was sold like a slave. Native indigenous populations were sold like a slave. So-called aboriginals were sold like a slave and scattered into all nations. Verse 13. And the Lord said unto me, cast it unto the potter, a goodly price that I was prized at of them. And I took the 30 pieces of silver and cast them to the potter in the house of the Lord. Then I cut asunder my own staff, even bands, that I might break the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. So now we know what the bands stand for, and now we know what the beauty stands for. Watch this, watch this, watch this. We're going to come back to Zechariah 11. Notice it's saying bands, right? Watch this. Let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter 83. Notice it's saying bands. Let's go to Psalms 83. Psalms chapter 83. Let's start at verse 1. It says, Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and have consulted against thy hidden ones. You see, our people, our identity, our culture, who we are, has been hidden on the earth. They hide the fact that you are God's chosen people and they relegate you to colors in a crayon box. They say, oh, you're people of color. No, we're not. We are the Israelites. We are God's chosen people. That's who we are. We're not brown. We're not black. We're not Hispanic. We're not Latinx. We're not Negro. We're not Moreno. We're not native indigenous. We're not aboriginal because that means without origin. How can you how can you so-called discover a whole group of people and then say and then say aboriginal without origin? When you say ab original, that's like you saying abnormal without normality. You understand? God says that you are the hidden ones on the earth. They hid your culture. They hid your identity. They hid who you were. Now in 2024, you got people on TikTok saying, oh, I, I, you know, I'm black, but I'm not an Israelite. They so scared. They, they're afraid to be called an Israelite. Oh, I may be preaching the Bible, but I'm not an Israelite. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just a Christian. I'm just a Baptist. I'm just, a, they're afraid to be called sons and daughters of God. You know what Israelite mean? A prince that has power with God and man. That's your name. They rather be called denominations. What's your nationality? I'm a Baptist. That's not a nation. What's your nationality? I'm Presbyterian. That's not an, where's the country called Presbyterian? You understand? Where's your forefall? Who are your ancestors? You understand? They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, not thy religion, thy people, thy people, and counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Shalom to you. Hope you're doing well. Against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That's that's the goal. They don't want you to call yourself who God says that you are. They want to call you a color in the crayon box. 
They want to call you after a geographical location. Oh, you're a Puerto Rican, rich port. You're 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 uh, dumb in a can. You're a Haitian. You're African American. A whole bunch of damn people put on cans and slave ships and scattered all over the planet. Like sardines, canned up like sardines. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Who walked around with a confederate flag in America? I wonder. Shalom to you, Lioness. Hope you're doing well. Shalom to you, Brother Rafael. I hope you're doing well. The tabernacles of Edom, the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and Hagarenes. Edom is the European folks. Ishmael, that's the Arabs. Moab, that's the Chinese. Hagarenes, that's the indigenous uh, Egyptians. Gabal, Ammon, and Amalek. The Amalekites, those are the uh, Greco-Romans, the Greeks. And the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, that's Lebanon. You understand what we're reading here? It says, it says, uh, hold on, let me find what I'm looking for. Verse 12, it says, who said, let us take to our possession, our possession, the houses of God. Wait a minute. Didn't we just read in, in Zechariah chapter 11, verse five, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Didn't we just read that? Didn't we just read that? We just read it. We just read it. Let's go back to it. Zechariah chapter 11, verse five. It says, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord, for I am a rich and their own shepherds pity them not. Our own shepherds, our own leaders see what's happening to our people. They're not doing a doggone thing. They're not doing anything at all. They looking at it. They say, oh, we need to march. We need to dance. We need to do this. We need to scream at the top of our lungs. And then the next day they go to work and like nothing happened. I'm glad I ain't got no access to the button. I would have pressed the button 20 years ago before I was even born. For real, though. Not nah, more like 40 years ago. So I'm glad nobody gave me access to the button. I would have pushed it already. I can't stand this place. Why? Why? Every time. I wake up, I hear another story of a black man or a Hispanic man or a woman being mistreated by government authorities. Surely oppression makes a man, a wise man mad. Watch this. Let's go back. Zechariah eleven fourteen. It says, then I cut asunder my other staff, even bands that I might break the brother, the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. So what happened between Northern kingdom and Southern kingdom? One became Jew, one became Gentile. One became Southern kingdom, one became Northern kingdom. Even the bands. And how did it happen? It went through us being destroyed after 70 AD, after our Messiah was sold like a slave to the Roman government betrayed by his own people, we were betraying one another and allowed each other to not hold on to our bands, our armies, and the and the enemy came against us and cut us off from being a nation. That's what happens when you don't unite. When black people don't want to unite with Hispanic people, when native indigenous populations don't want to join with black people, when they think that y'all are different people, when y'all being oppressed together, that's what happens. Your enemy divides and conquer and you still falling for the same dumb stuff. One person saying they FBA, another one saying they Cherokee, another one saying they Seminole Indian, another one saying they Aboriginal, another one saying they property of Spain, another one saying that they Latino. Y'all keep separating your own selves. Y'all don't need the white property of Spain. Another one saying that they Latino. Y'all keep separating your own selves. Y'all don't need the white property of Spain. Another one saying that they Latino. Y'all keep separating your own selves. Y'all don't need the white man to come separate y'all. Y'all do it your damn self already. And here it is. We trying to unite the people and say, hey, y'all the same people. They'd be like, forefront, you're too divisive. I'm telling you, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are pressed together and they need to unite. But they'll say forefront too divisive. People stupid out here. People, people dumb. Watch this. Isaiah chapter one. Verse four, it says, ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel to anger. They are gone away backwards. 
God say our folks are walking around backwards, y'all. Walking around backwards. You know how I know they're walking around backwards? They'll know all the atrocities that happen to our people. And they'll go and celebrate Halloween. They stupid as hell. They don't know that Halloween and horror movies and all the horror films are made after how they treated our people. Love and blessings to you as well, Monica. Hope you're doing well. A horror movie was made after Christopher Columbus unalived million pe millions of people. Those horror films came right in the 1900s after they disbanded slavery and abolished slavery and they depict what they did to your ancestors on horror films every Halloween. But you don't put two and two together, black man. You don't put two and two together, Hispanic man. You watching Saw. You watching The Hills Have Eyes. You're like, I'm entertained. I like a scary movie. Nah, y'all crazy out here, man. To hell with Halloween. Every Halloween, black and brown children go missing by the hundreds of thousands every year. And every, and especially during Halloween, but y'all going to dress up y'all kids like demons? That's why God said y'all going backward. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to show you how y'all going backward. Let's go to Genesis chapter 9, verse 4. Genesis chapter 9, verse 4. It says, but the flesh with the, with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, you shall not eat. Put a one in the chat if you heard that God says you should not eat blood. Put a one in the chat if you just heard. Let's let's read it again. Genesis chapter nine, verse four. It says, but flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall you not eat, not eat. Question for the critical thinker. Who the hell is Buffy the Vampire Slayer? <laughs> Who the hell is the Twilight series? Who the hell is uh, di Vampire Diaries? Hmm? I'm trying to figure this out because I'm pretty sure y'all and y'all kids was watching it at one point in time. Shalom to you. Hope you're doing well, DZ. I got ones in the building. All praises. So God says in the Bible, you're not supposed to eat blood. Here we go. Here we go. You got you got Christian people talking about, oh, let me dress up my child as a vampire. How Christ like is that? You're so holy. You, you can smell my sarcasm, right? He's like, damn, forefront. You just keep it 100. Yes, I do. 144,000 percent biblical. So here it is. You got a law out of the Bible. Somebody might say, oh, that's not a law. OK, let's go to Leviticus. Let's go to Leviticus. Let's go to Leviticus 17, verse 10. Leviticus 17, verse 10. Listen to this. It says, And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood and will cut him off from among his people. Does that sound like God is mad? Put a two in the chat if you agree. That sounds like God mad about that. That sounds like God don't like that thing. But in modern society during Halloween, holy evening, holy to who? The devil. They dress up their children and themselves as vampires. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. They ain't dressing up their kids like they even dressing up themselves. They got the they get the uh, the paint on their face. They darken their eyelids. They put like real bright red lipstick. They put the fake fangs in their mouth and everything. Put a long cape. And, and now they walking around talking about I'm a vampire. And they have no idea that there's folks out here that really be devouring souls out here, man. Some of your global elite, these jokers be drinking that stuff, man. That red juice that I ain't talking about grape juice neither. You understand? On holy evening. When you say Halloween, you're saying it's a holy evening. Why the church is saying and the Christian church celebrating holy evening? And God says, don't eat no blood. That's in the Bible, y'all. That's in the Bible, y'all. They ain't never read that to me in church. How come they ain't never read that? I'm sitting there watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'm like, look at her. Look at all these vampires. They kicking ass. Oh, this is fun. Until I came into the truth and I was like, it was all BS. Propaganda. BS. Dog doo-doo. Straight up. God says, don't eat no manner of blood. So you got TV shows like Ann, uh, Ann Rice with the, van what was it? Uh, 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 Queen of the Dam. 
put put a three in the chat if you ever seen that movie Queen of the Dam with uh, Aaliyah. Famous R&B singer played a vampire. Y'all know right after that movie, she ended up uh, being deleted. Yep, Nakuya got it. Right after that movie, she made a movie called Queen of the Damned. Damn. And it ended up being unalive right after. Didn't watch it? Good for you, Yellowbird. You good. Don't You don't need to watch it neither. There's nothing you can learn from people drinking blood. But that film was based on an Anne Rice book. Anne Rice had various books about vampires and witches and warlocks. You understand? So our ancestors was never dealing with that BS until they went to the left side and went against the most high. You understand? So God says not to partake in such things, but the global elite, they participate in it. It was the Christian church that made it legal for you to celebrate holy evening and dress your children up like demons and vampires and drink blood. Y'all, I'm telling you, that's what they do. They make it. They say, oh, we're doing it for the kids. Holy evening, Halloween. Let's make it holy for the kids. You understand? That's what they did, y'all. They deceived you to reject your Messiah and accept their way of understanding the Bible instead of following your afro hebraic culture. So here it is, people People will rather celebrate holy evening of the Catholic church than celebrate Feast of Tabernacles. You understand? They, they don't know nothing. Ask, ask a Christian about Feast of Tabernacles. They're gonna say, what's that? Ask them, what is the Feast of Tabernacles? Um, 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 um. Ask a Muslim, ask a black Muslim. What is the Feast of Tabernacles? They're going to say, um, 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 wait a minute. I thought the Muslim religion was based on the Quran and the Quran was based on the Torah. The Torah is the first five books of Moses. You never heard of that? Exactly. Jay had it correct. They have no idea. None whatsoever. Now ask a Christian, do you know what Halloween is? They're going to raise their hand real quick. Ask a Christian, do you know? what Halloween is. They're going to raise their hand. They're going to clap their hands. Like, oh yeah, Hallelujah night. Yeah, I know that. They didn't change the name to Hallelujah night, but they still getting their kids dressing up and, and giving them candy and all of this BS. How do I know? I called my ex-wife and she got my kids with her and they, they talking about, uh, daddy, uh, I went to get candy. I said, what you get candy from who for? For what? Uh, uh, then my, then my, then my little four-year-old want to try to lie to me talking about, oh no, nah, we didn't get no candy, daddy. We just, uh, uh, Oh, yeah, your mama teaching you to lie to me, huh? Mm -hmm. I see that. I see that. I'm going to just, just wait and see y'all all. I love you, baby. Come holler at me when you're 18. When you're when you not under the clutches of your mama no more, come holler at me. Then we're going to talk. You're going to learn the real deal. Sometimes you just got to let people go, man, for real. You just got to let it go. Don't matter if it's your ex. Don't matter if it's your kids. Don't matter if it's your mama. Nothing should be supreme over you besides God. I don't care how much you love them. Nobody can separate you from the love of God. Not even your family. So ask a Muslim, have you heard of Halloween? They're going to raise their hand. They're going to clap their hand. Be like, yeah, yeah, I heard of Halloween. I mean, I, you know, my people don't really get down like that. But yeah, I heard of Halloween. All right. What's Feast of Tabernacles? Um, um, crickets. That's all you hear is crickets. Okay. What's, what's, what's Memorial of the Blowing of the Trumpets? Crickets. What's the day of atonement? Crickets. They don't know nothing about nothing. That's why God says y'all backwards. Backwards. Let's go back. Let's go back to the text again. Isaiah chapter one, verse three. The ox knows his owner and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. God says that my people don't even consider where they come from, their national origin, their homeland, or their master. They don't know nothing about God. They just know religion. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. You know what? You know what I mean when it says laden with iniquity? Our people, our people are so wicked. When you tell them to stop doing bad, they say, don't judge me. But then when they go to court, they never tell the uh, European folks, oh, I'm sorry that I did this evil. Don't judge me. They never say that. 
But when it's you that look like them, correcting them, tell them, hey, Jesus don't look like that. Jesus is a black man. Don't judge me. Don't 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 try to tell me what to do. You're not about that's how black people are. That's how Hispanic people are, too. When you tell them Jesus is, is a black man, they will sucio puerto. Oh, Jesus, a nigga. No, not at all. What are you talking about, forefront? No. How? Then you then you get then you ask them, hey, show me in the Bible verse that Jesus Christos is is European. Yo no sé. I don't know. Yo no sé. Yo no sé, brother. I just learned from the, you know, the Iglesia Catholica. They just tell me in the Catholic Church. You understand? Same thing with native indigenous populations. You talk to them and you say that the son of God looked like them, that he came to save them. They're like, I don't want nothing to do with that religion. That was the religion of my oppressor. They think the Bible is about religion. That's how deceived people are today. When you tell them, hey, this is about a people. Watch this. A people, a people, a people laden with iniquity. Where did you see religion out of that verse? Nowhere. A seed of evil doers, children that are corruptors. Children. Let me harp on that real quick. Children that are corruptors. Yeah. One time I was going to the barbershop. My barber, the no, nah, the barbershop owner knows that I'm married, knows I got a four month old baby. This barbershop owner comes to me and says, hey, look at this picture right here. This beautiful woman right here. Uh, such and such says uh, she got three daughters. And, you know, I'm willing to share. If you want one of the daughters, let me know. Come holler at me. I'm looking at this dude like, bro, like I literally got married like a, over a year ago and I got a four month old baby. Like what I need another woman for. Are you are you kidding me? What part of thou should I commit adultery? You don't understand. What part of I'm a married man? You don't understand. I got to tell a grown ass man. Hey, bro, um, I'm not a whoremonger. Like, I'm not chasing skirts out here. How old are you again? Like, are you 17 or something? Like, help me. Help me understand. Help me help you. That's why the Bible says children that are corruptors. Here it is. Here it is. I'm not a I'm not a person that uses Swisher Sweets. I don't use black and mouths. I got rid of that stuff years ago. Somebody invite me invite me to their event and they're like, hey, um, you know, here's here's a, a Siggy. I'm like, what? For what? I don't partake in that stuff. For what? That's you know, that stuff causes panic attacks, right? You know, that stuff will cause you to have a oh, I, I, I use it because I'm stressed out. Well, it increases your stress. It doesn't decrease your stress. You do know that, right? It constricts the blood vessels in your body which causes more stress and anxiety. You do know that, right? That's why you start to feel dizzy when you use it because no blood is going to the brain. Oh, I didn't know that for a friend. I, 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 yeah, children that are corrupters. You see, the, the, the folks that didn't want to hear that, they left out the room. More praises to the most high. But the folks that want to hear, they're going to hear it because the Bible says you're going to know the truth and the truth is going to make you free. It says they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. Y'all know that's talking about our people, man. That's not even talking about the other nations. That's talking about us. Here's how backwards black folks are. They see they're being oppressed. They see they're mistreated. They see that they're colonized. They see that they've uh, assimilated to another culture. Here it is. We're telling you out of the Bible, you need to separate yourselves from your enemy. They say, but what about what about the TYT folks? What about Europeans? Can they get to heaven, too? I'm like, what? what? Here it is. I'm reading out of the Bible. You are God's chosen people. God has chosen you above all nations, above all nations, above all nations. And they ask me, what about TYT folks? What about what about Russian people? What about Ukrainian people? What about France? What about Spain? What about America? They never ask about China. They never ask about Asia. They never ask about, I, I've yet to seen a black person come and ask me, hey, what about Nigeria? Never. When it comes to salvation and the Bible, they're only focused on the dominant culture. That's how brainwashed they are. That's how brainwashed they are. They Watch this. Isaiah chapter, Isaiah chapter one, verse five. Why should you be stricken anymore? Shalom to you, Jocelyn. Hope you're doing well. Why should you be stricken anymore? The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint from the leaders all the way to the regular Joe Schmo. Our people sick, sick, sick. They need some assistance. They need some biblical based medicine 
to alleviate their blindness and their, their deafness to what the Bible is saying. This is a people robbed and spoiled. Verse six, from the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it. You ever, you ever heard, you ever talked to, had a conversation with somebody about the Bible, right? And they just start saying dumb stuff that don't even make no sense. Shalom to you, uh, uh, Brother Armani. Hope you're doing well. You ever tried to talk to, to religious people about the Bible and they just start going all like twitchy and acting crazy, like real emotional. Like I read a Bible verse that says, hey, he that leads in the captivity going to go into captivity. So I read the Bible verse. I said, who who put us into slavery? Who put us into slavery? They like, I don't know. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, what are you referring to? I read the Bible verse that says, he that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. Okay, who led you into captivity? Crickets. They don't got nothing to say. Nothing at all to say, y'all. How? And we're reading out of the Bible. Whoever led you into slavery, gonna go into slavery. That's what the Bible says. Do you accept this Bible verse? Yes or no? All of a sudden, they're like, brother, you can't be like that. You can't judge. God is the ultimate judge. God knows whether, whether I'm good or bad. God, God wants, if God want to save good old, good old, uh, 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 you know, good old, uh, uh, folks, them folks, them folks, you know, then let God save them folks. Why are you trying to block them from heaven? You, you, you ain't got the keys to heaven. Only my Jesus. When I start reading the Bible, all of a sudden, they're like, not my Jesus, not my Jesus, brother. Then these niggas start talking about chakras and, and frequencies and all type of crazy stuff that's not biblical, man. You understand? Not my Jesus, brother. I, we, we, we all going to get to heaven someday, brother. We all, everybody going to get to heaven. Everybody needs Jesus, brother. You don't know that? You don't know everybody needs, everybody love, love, love. Where was that love when this black man just got killed by the cops? Literally. Where's the, where's John, where's that love? Cause guess what? Them folks don't think like you. You want to save them while they, they can't stand your guts. Listen, if, if they could be in heaven without you there, they would love it. You understand what I'm saying? If them folks could get into their own kingdom and their own heaven without seeing other populations around them, they they would love it. They would be like, I'm free. I don't got to deal with the descendants of enslaved. For, oh, God didn't judge my, me and my ancestors for my sins and I'm in heaven. Wow. They would be cool with it, man. I'm telling you. Listen, listen, listen. Let me make it so easy for you to understand it. If they didn't want you in their country clubs... If they didn't want you drinking from the same water fountains, if they didn't want you taking a dump on the same toilet, what makes you think they want you in heaven with you? What makes you think they want to hang out and be and sing Kumbaya and have a potluck? Here it is. You got jokers on the, jokers on the, uh, TikTok giving a whole entire six hour discussions about how they should be involved with interracial relations. If you want to love another nation, go ahead and do what you do. But I'm going to tell you facts. How many black men got lynched unalive, right? Put on a rope for, for blinking at Becky, even if he didn't blink. The Negro was wiping sweat off the off of his forehead from working on the plantation. Here go the slave master. You was looking at my my gal boy. You was looking at my gal. Same shit happened to Mexicans. Same shit happened to Dominicans. Same shit happened to Haitians. All our people experience that BS. But y'all want to promote that interracial stuff? Good luck. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to just keep reading the Bible while our people still live in la-la land. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 6. From the sole of the foot, that's going into your average Joe, even unto the head. There is no soundness in it. So now the head that's going into our leaders, our political leaders, our religious leaders. God says, God says there is no soundness in it. They head is sick. They foot is sick. Regular average Joe 
and the leaders. Think about this, y'all. Think about this. You had a black man in the highest point of office several years ago, right? And the first thing he wants to do is pass LGTV high definition stuff for them folks for several years ago, right? And the first thing he wants to do is pass LGTV high definition stuff for them folks. Rainbow rainbows everywhere. That's all he wanted to pass. That was that was your greatest accomplishment. Peanut butter and jelly bandits. Are you kidding me? Right. Or they say they just like us. They not like us. Exactly. All for usury. Exactly. To serve their own purpose. Exactly. Right. They telling you they telling you in eight churches. Right. Go go choose red or blue. Like it's a bunch of damn bloods and crips out here, man. Oh, brother, I voted red. I voted blue. OK, good for you. I didn't know you was in the gang. I'm not, I'm not into gang activity. I ain't about no colors. You understand? I didn't do anything for people of color or anything. <laughs> right, right, right. The, God says there is no soundness in it. The head is sick. OK, people think I'm playing when it comes to the church. What do you see happening in the churches? Are they not allowing LG TVs, high definition TVs to run the church rampant? Ask a pastor. Pastor, why is the piano player a little saucy? What's going on here? Why why is why is the person on the tambourines a little sassafras? What's going on here? I thought the Bible says that we're not supposed to deal with, well, brother, you know, love is love. And gee, here it is now. You got pastors talking about. If uh, taking spit and rubbing it on another man's face and say that this is holy, this my holy spit that I put right on another brother, this same pastor that did that, this man said, you know, I know you made an Adam and you made an Eve, but God, I wonder if you would, could have made something in between. What? Now I see why y'all celebrate uh, 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 Halloween. Everybody got masks on. Everybody got masks on. They don't give their real face. They not 100. They fake it in a $3 bill. You understand? From the sole of the foot, Isaiah chapter one, verse six, from the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They look like a zombie out here. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified ointment on it. So then after our people got involved with intermingling with the nations and mixing ideologies with the nations, what happened? Verse seven, your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers devour it in your presence, and it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. Wow. When Christopher Columbus came over here to the Americas, did he burn all the houses of the indigenous people? Yes. Was he unalive in the indigenous people? Yes. When the pilgrims came to America, were they doing this to black and brown people? Yes. Who was going around burning crosses? Hello. And in 2024, once they found out Jesus Christ was black, they started burning Bibles in front of churches. Who's doing that? The strangers. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers devour it in your presence. When we was in Africa, dwelling amongst the, the, the Canaanites and the Perizzites, did not the indigenous population turn us over to the Greeks and the Arabs and the Romans? All of these nations had a part with our oppression, man. They laughed at our calamity. Now in 2024, instead of saying, I'm done with it, I'm going to gather my people together. We're going to repent. We're going to do what this Bible say. Instead, now nah, they want to dress up their kids like a damn vampire. Y'all, if you got relatives celebrating Holy Evening, a.k.a. Halloween, tell them to repent. Tell them to change their life around. We're going to take a break, y'all. We're going to be right back. I'm going to end the live for now. We're going to be right back in another uh, maybe 20 minutes or so. Shalom.